It is time for the highs and lows of the week, and we are going with all highs because we need them this week. Our first high goes to the quick-thinking Senate staffers who grab documents for history as rioters breached the United States Capitol this week. Supporters of the president gathered in Washington to protest the final count of electoral votes by Congress. As the mob overran the Capitol, several staffers had the presence of mind to grab the historic mahogany boxes containing the electoral certificates from the tables where they sat. Senate staffers evacuated the boxes, protected them, and later returned them unharmed to complete counting the votes that sealed Joe Biden's win. Meanwhile, at least one congressman stopped to help with the cleanup after the attack. That is New Jersey Congressman Andy Kim in a photograph that went viral, picking up debris in the Capitol Rotunda. I wanted to do my part. I really just try to roll up our sleeves and just get something done. Congressman Kim was walking through the Capitol after the late night votes when he saw workers cleaning up the mess left by the rioters. He stopped to help and spent nearly two hours filling trash bags. The Capitol building to me is the most beautiful building in the entire country. And the rotunda is the center of the building. It's the center of our country in many ways. Making New Jersey proud, some glimmers of light and humanity on that terrible day. Our next high goes to a final farewell to the late iconic Jeopardy host, Alex Trebek, whose last episode aired on Friday. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for spending the time with us. We'll see you again next week. That show was recorded just days before Trebek's death from pancreatic cancer in early November. Those words, I'll see you next week, in that familiar wave goodbye moved Jeopardy fans who had watched Trebek nearly every night for 36 years. One viewer writing, it wasn't intended to be anything other than a routine episode. That's the best tribute to just have Alex run the game. Ken Jennings, the all-time Jeopardy champ and the first of several Upcoming interim host reminded us of Trebek, more than 36 years and 8,200 shows. That's more Tonight shows than Carson and three times as many daily shows as Jon Stewart. In Trebek's final episode, the show remembered its legendary host. Priceless entertainment. You are right. No, you're not right. You really make me feel inadequate. Sorry about that. We will so miss his rock-solid presence in our living rooms every weeknight, especially those ice-cold reactions to an incorrect response. Ooh, sorry. Our next tie goes to the beautiful moment when a high school student shared her college acceptance letter with her late mother. 17-year-old Skylar Hughes of Gwinnett County, Georgia, outside Atlanta, lost her mother Rashida in 2016. Skyler, we should point out, is an absolute superstar. She has a 4.1 GPA, two jobs, and an internship. Her dream school is the prestigious Duke University. So when the email came, she waited to open it until she and her father could share the moment with mom. Yeah, I'm freaking out. Um, mm. ah! Yeah, you're coming! Oh, yeah, you're coming! <laughs> I got it. I got it. No. I told you. I got it. I told you. Oh, I got it. Skyler and her dad at mom's grave crying happy tears together in a video posted to Instagram that now has gone viral. I was nervous to open it, but I wasn't really nervous to let her down because I knew she would be proud of me regardless. Skyler hopes to study marine biology at Duke. Congratulations, Skyler. Our final high is a tip of the fur-lined cat to the Kentucky man who became a viral star this week with his novel approach to snow removal. This is Timothy Browning in full Cousin Eddie garb taking a flamethrower to his snow-covered driveway. As you can see, it works instantly. It's much easier on your back than shoveling. A neighbor across the street gives us another angle of Tim's pioneering method, which probably is best limited to people with some experience wielding a flamethrower.